Today on our boat trailer, we're gonna be installing the Dexter idler axle with Easy Lube hubs, part number 205-451-EZ-72-10. Now to begin our install, we're first gonna go ahead and remove both wheels. Keeping in mind that each process we do here on one side will get repeated identically on the opposite side. If it's been a while since you've had the lug nuts off, we're gonna go ahead and spray them down with a spray lubricant. I'm also gonna go ahead and spray down the leaf spring shackle bolt hardware so that the penetrant can start working before we get to actually re removing that hardware. Now with the wheel off, we need to remove the older manufacturer's U-bolts. Easiest way to do that is just to go ahead and cut them off as they will not be reused. To cut them off, you can use a sawzall, torch, or even just a cut off wheel for the smaller U-bolts. Now in some applications, you'll need to remove the spring bolt that we lubricated earlier so that you can allow the leaf spring to come down out of the way to get the axle out. Other applications, you can actually take the axle and slide it out between the leaf spring and the frame. Once you have the old axle out, we're ready to put the new axle in. Now that we've shown one style, we're gonna go ahead and remove the bolt so you can see what it's like to go ahead and lower the leaf spring. When we go to remove this hardware, Note, some of the bolts will be splined into the shackle. So we're gonna just help hold that bolt in place while we remove the nut. Then we'll drive the bolt straight out. You can see this particular bolt is not splined, so it just came right out. Once you have the axle out, it's a good idea to check the leaf spring to make sure none of the leaves are cracked or broken, or it's been excessively overloaded, which you can tell when the strap here is either missing or bent or broken. Also, check the hardware for excessive wear, moving it in and out and up and down. If you take the hardware out and it looks a lot like this one, where it has excessive wear, both here at the bolt head and on the threads, then it's a good idea to go ahead and replace them. Now because of the excessive wear here and the hardware that we've already taken apart, we're gonna go ahead and install the new eyelet bolt, which you can see also has the serrated towards the top of the bolt so that it'll lock into the new shackle strap that is also gonna get replaced because of the excessive wear. The new shackle strap, which will have one, it'll slide all the way on. We'll press it into the shackle strap to hold the bolt in place a second shackle strap, and then a new nut. The nut will thread and lock on to the bolt. Now here's another style of hardware. We've got the eyelet bolt and nut. Part number 166081. Along with our Redline True Ride shackle strap, two and a three quarter inch long, part number TRSL275. Replacing the old or existing hardware. This is the actual hardware we'll be using with this application. So now let's go ahead and finish taking our hardware apart. Again, here you can see the wear of the eyelet bolt. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put my eyelet bolt back in the front shackle strap to hold the leaf spring in place. Now with the passenger side here taken apart, let's go ahead and put it back together with our new hardware. Now with our new upper eyelets and the rear shackle straps in place, we'll move over to the driver's side and repeat the same process. Now 
While our leaf springs are down, we'll put the axle in place and then bring the leaf springs up and put in the bottom eyelet bolts. Now it's a good idea to get next to the hands to help you raise the leaf springs up to the shackle straps and install the new bolts with the axle in place on top of the leaf spring. Here on the axle is going to be the leaf spring seat with a pre-drilled hole in it that'll match up with the centering point here on the leaf spring. I'm going to line it up, lock it into place on both sides. Now with our axle in place, to secure it, we're going to use the Redline U-Bolt Kit, part number APUBR-10, which will come with the plate, two new U-Bolts, and the nuts. We'll put a U-Bolt down over top of the axle on the inside and outside of the leaf spring pack. Then on the bottom, we'll line up the plate with the U-Bolts. Once we have the plate in place, we'll go ahead and install the nuts on the bottom. Now with all the hardware in place here on the passenger side, I'll move over to the driver's side and repeat the same process. Now we're ready to start tightening our hardware down. As I tighten down the eyelet bolts, we want the serration at the head of the bolt to sink into the strap. So I'm gonna help hold it in place while I tighten it down so that it sinks into the metal properly. Now with the eyelet bolts tightened down, we'll go ahead and tighten down our U-bolts. I like to run them down with an impact and then check them with either a wrench or a socket and ratchet. As you tighten them down, tighten them down evenly front to back. Then we'll torque the specifications as indicated instructions. Now with all the hardware installed here on the passenger side, I'll move over to the driver's side and repeat the same process. Now in most applications, this is the style hub that will be coming with the axle. It will not be on the axle when ordered. It will come with the hub, two bearings, an inner and an outer, a seal for the inner bearing, a large cap will let you go on the outside, the grease eric will go through the middle for an easy lube axle, and then an inner cap. The new hub will also come with five new lug nuts. Now with everything installed, we'll go ahead and put our wheels back in place and install the new lug nuts. Once I have all my lug nuts in place, we can go ahead and tighten them down. Then when we set the trailer back down and have some weight on it, we can go ahead and torque the specifications. And that'll complete our install of the Dexter Trailer Idler Axle with Easy Lube Hubs, part number 205-451-EZ-72-10 for our boat trailer today.